Hi Ronies, this is your pal, Ronie King 95 here. Today we're gonna review a Christmas movie this time. Before, cause I'm gonna or we do this, we're today's Christmas movie we're gonna review is Home Alone. Not the piece of shit Home Alone 4 taking back the house or piece of shit Home Alone Hol five holiday heist. No, I'm talking about the original Home Alone with Macaulay Culkin. The one that came out in 1990, right along with its sequel, Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. The McAllister family is preparing to spend Christmas in Paris, gathering at Peter and Kate's home in a suburb, Chicago suburb on the night before their departure. Peter and Kate's youngest son, Kevin, is being scorned by his siblings and cousins. Later, Kevin accidentally ruins the family dinner after he snaps at his older brother, Buzz, resulting in getting him sent to the attic of the house for punishment, where he berates his mother and wishes him that his family would disappear. Because he wanted cheese pizza. And Uncle Frank said to Kevin, Look what you did, you little jerk. During the night, heavy winds cause damage to the power lines, which causes the power outage and resets the alarm clock, causing the family to oversleep in the confusion and rush to get to the airport. Kevin is accidentally left behind. Kevin wakes to find the house empty and thinking his wish has come true is overjoyed with his new freedom. However, he soon becomes frightened by his next-door neighbor, Old Man Marley, played by Robert Ertz Blossom, who is rumored to be a serial killer who murdered his family as well as the wet bandits, Harry and Mark, a pair of burglars who had broken into other vacant houses in the neighborhood and have targeted the McAllister's house. Kevin tricks them into thinking his family's home, forcing them to put their plans on hold until he ordered pizza. Kate discovers a mid-flight that Kevin is missing and upon arrival in Paris, the family discovers that all flights for the next doors that are booked Peter and the rest of the family stays in his brother's apartment in the city when, while Kate manages to get a flight back to the United States as far as to get to Scranton, Pennsylvania. She attempts to book a flight to Chicago, but again, everything is booked unacceptable. Unable to, un to accept this, Kate is overheard by Gus Polinsky, the leading member of a traveling polka band, which is Polk, the King of the Midwest. They, their, their music was hit in Sheboygan in English, Gus Polinsky says, who offered first to leather travel with them to Chicago on their way to Milwaukee in a moving van where she gracefully accepts. Meanwhile, Harry and Mark realize that Kevin is alone, on, and on Christmas Eve, Kevin overhears them discussing plans to break into his house that night. Kevin starts to miss his family and asks the local mall Santa if he can bring his family back for Christmas. He goes to church and watches the choir perform and, he, and meets old man Marley, who just feels the rumor of books about him. He points out that his granddaughter's in a choir, whom he never gets to meet. As he and his son is strange, Kevin suggests that he should reconcile with his son. Kevin returns home and rigs the house with booby traps to take on the bandits. Harry and Mar break in, spring the traps, and suffer various injuries while the duo pursues Kevin around the house. And he calls the police and flees the, the luring duo into a neighboring home, which they previously broke into. Harry and Mar subdue him, but Marley sneaks in and knocks them unconscious with his shovel before they can harm Kevin. The police arrive and arrest Harry and Mark, having identified all the houses they broke into due to the latter's habit of flooding them. Wow. On Christmas Day, Kevin is disappointed that his family is still gone and Santa and discovers that Santa did not make it due to the untouched state of his cookies and milk. He then hears eight enter the house and call for him. They reconcile and soon join by the rest of the McAllisters, who wanted 
waited in Paris until they could get a direct flight back to Chicago. Kevin keeps silent about his encounter with Harry and Marv, although Peter finds out finds Harry's knocked out gold tooth. Because the, you know, the booby traps. Because he was setting up some traps for the wet bandits as the wet bandits which is Harry and Marv. But in Home Alone 2, Marv says that we got our new names. We're the Sticky Bandits, as in S-T-I-C-K-Y, Sticky. Kevin then observes Marley reuniting with his son and his family. Marley notices Kevin and the pair of air wave to each other. Buzz suddenly calls out Kevin. Calls out. Kevin, what you do to my room, at which point Kevin runs off. Because Buzz knows that what if Kevin did something to his room. Because we all know what Kevin uses. Buzz's life savings, when he climbs on his wall shelf, the bracket shelf from the wall, and then it breaks him because he fell. But he was alright, and he went through... Buzz's private stuff, including Buzz's Playboy magazine, and he says, no clothes on people, sickening, and he has firecrackers, and he uses, like, and he was watching Angels with Filthy Souls when everyone was home, and he uses the, every parts of Angels with Filthy Souls, including, number one, the pizza delivery from Little Nero's Pizza, when Kevin ordered cheese pizza, when he had to pay the, with like twelve dollars and all, and Mar and then it pulls a prank on Marv, thinking that there was there were arguing there these two are arguing as well. So now if this was Home Alone two, Lost in New York, Angels with even more filthier souls is only in Home Alone two, Lost in New York. Probably for her to n learn all about it, especially Home Alone. That's why. So that's gonna be it for my Christmas movie review on Home Alone. Guys, so thanks for watching. But before we go, because I'm gonna say that I had a good Christmas re movie review on Home Alone. That's why, because the Home Alone house was in. Winnetka, Illinois. That's where it was takes place in. That's why. Because Home Alone was originally wanted to be as the Warner Brothers production, but instead, 20th Century Fox took over the project because the budget grew from 14 to 17 million dollars. Subscribe for content. My anti plan link in the description down below. You can share this video on your Twitter. You can share this on Facebook. If you have Twitter or Facebook, click on the notifications button. Read what I did on YouTube. Click on the subscribe button. Please subscribe to Ronnie K95. That's why. Like, subscribe, favorite, comment, share. Here on social media pages like Facebook and Twitter, etc. Click the notifications button. Read what I did. Upload on YouTube. Read my. Click on the subscribe button. Please subscribe to Rony K95. And that's it. So, it is a Christmas movie. This is Rony K95. I hope you enjoy this Christmas movie review. I hope you like it. Hope to see you soon. Sayonara.